What is up, everyone? Thank you for coming. This is the new moon workshop, the new moon in Aries. Also, this is like really important, more important than letting go because this is when you invite in love, money, finances, projects, people, partnerships. It's like people not taking the new moon, like, come on, like, you can't just let go and then you're sitting here with nothing. You're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So anyways, kudos to you. Congratulations. Thank you for coming. Um, if this is your first time, thank you for joining us. This will be under 30 minutes. It is pay what you can. The link for donations is below. And thank you for all of the support. This is my job. So I appreciate the donations. Um, yeah, let's just jump into it. I'm going to um, talk about the astrology. So let me just pull up my notes here, daddy's notes. Okay, we've got the new moon in Aries on April 11th or the 12th. It depends on your location, obviously. Um, and Aries represents fire. It's funny because I also pulled the Aries card. I have the emperor here. And this is about taking control of your life, of your decisions, of what you want to do, what you see for your future, for yourself, your vision. And it's funny because it's all going to lead to more stability, more structure. Um, Pluto right now is in Capricorn, I believe, still. So there's a lot of rebirth, a lot of restructuring, um, you know, taking place. So you just got to be patient. It will happen. Um, this is the beginning of a huge cycle. We're also in the new energetic year now, finally. And this is the new moon, sorry, the first new moon of the new energetic year. So this is a really important time for us to plant the seeds for what we want to invite in. Speaking of stability, this is the chariot, which means change and uh, focus, future, stability, and structure. This is connected to cancer energy, which is the fourth house in astrology. That's how we feel valued, how we take care of ourselves and support other people. And if you want to invite that in, four of coins reversed, we first have to let go of all those old structures. We've already been letting go of a lot. 2020 really showed us who is on our team, who is not, what we want to be doing, how we want to invest our time, energy, money, resources into different people, places, things, projects. And now it's very clear if it's not working, if it hasn't been working up until now, it's like, okay, we need to let it go. So the sooner you let it go, the sooner you can invite in more abundance, more opportunity, more expansion, right? Because when you let go of something, that energy is then replaced with something else. So you can't have it all, bitch. You can't have it all. You can't have both the past and the future. You got to pick one. And I would suggest picking the future because your future self is going to be very proud and happy that you decided to start making big changes that will support your future growth and abundance and love, etc. cetera. So um, we also have the three of swords here reverse. And I have the five of cups here that I saw. So like, it's not easy letting go. It's not easy when we became comfortable with chaos or comfortable with toxic relationships or toxic environments. Maybe we aren't comfortable, but we just tolerated it. It's like, well, now we have to let that go. And when you let that go, it means you're losing a part of yourself. You're losing um, old people that you thought you would have forever. And trust me, I get it. I had to clear out a lot of people. Some people decided for themselves to leave. And when it happened, I was like, what the fuck is happening? And now I'm like, oh, thank God, because I have so much more energy. I'm in a better place. So it's like, it really, you just have to trust. You have to trust. And this, this combination, it's trusting yourself, trusting your power, trusting your, what you want, what you want for yourself. Aries is focus on the I, me, 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 me. So like focus on yourself and get selfish with your future, get selfish with your vision. Of course, the right people can come. And of course, if you have abundance, we will share, of course, but it's like, get selfish with your future self. No, get selfish now for your future 
self so you can have all of the love and abundance that you really deserve, okay? We've done a lot of clearing, a lot of healing. We also, nine of cups, we have opportunities for 100% satisfaction and that is focusing on the self. This is not with another person. We're not going to find happiness you know, following other people. No, you're not going to find happiness in another person. No, you want to find peace, joy, love in yourself first, and then radiate that out and find another person who also has peace, joy, and love for themselves. And then you two can get together. And that is when you have a healthy working or romantic relationship, right? So that is what we've got for the tarot. I also have a personal issue reaches resolution. So, oh, it's funny. And that is the cancer card also. And I had the cancer card. Hmm. So some of you maybe um, are dealing with a cancer energy. Cancer is also a cardinal sign. Aries is a uh, cardinal sign. So that's compatible in, uh, in the sense that it wants change, it wants to lead. So we're really being asked to stand in our power and do what we can to lead other people, right? Um, or I'm hearing find other leaders and collaborate with other leaders, meet other leaders. Because when you share a vision, when you share um, that same vibration, it attracts it tenfold. When you're surrounded by people who are like, man, Everything's hard. I hate myself. This person's a bitch. It's gossip. It backstabbing. It, it, it just drains you. And it like mixes your good energy with their bad energy. And then you don't manifest what you want quickly because they are draining you. So it's like, you need to let them go. And now we're going to plant seeds for inviting in those new relationships. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit now about the astrology, and then we're going to start with the energy clearing and then the short meditation and we're done. So the astrology, we have the sun and the moon conjunct, conjunct just means they're together. Um, if you're like, what are you talking about? I'm always going to explain how it impacts us. Okay, so the sun and the moon conjunct, it means there is a new birth of something and it's a new moon. Moon is connected to emotions. So new feelings about something, about something related to Aries energy. So it's new feelings about how we show up for ourselves, how we label ourselves, how we want to um, create, um, explore, try new things, um, invent something, maybe establish something new. Aries is that spark. So a new moon is going to give us an opportunity to spark a new cycle. And I said earlier, it's the new energetic year because Aries is the first sign in the wheel, right? So we just finished Pisces season. That's 12th house, the 12th sign. We let go. We're done. We're fucking done with the last year bullshit. Now, astrologically speaking, <laughs> the 2021 energy is a little bit similar to last year with a lot of restructuring, reestablishing, et cetera, et cetera. But We've already gone through so much release. So now it's an opportunity to invite in the new chapters, the new beginnings. And you've cleaned out a lot of toxic energy. So you have like a clean slate to say, okay, what do I want to try? I want to try something new with this fresh cycle. I want to see, um, you know, new things, taste new foods. I want to try new experiences, study, learn new skills, etc. We also have Venus. Venus is in that mix at 28 degrees Aries. So the sun, the moon, and Venus are all together in Aries. And it means what? Aries is focusing on I. Venus is love. So self-love, um, how you take more time and prioritize yourself, um, what you want for yourself. And of course, we can share later, but first we have to get it, right? So what do you want for yourself? luxury, good food, health, etc. right? Money. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is that there is a sextile with Jupiter, Jupiter in Aquarius and Mars in Gemini. Now what that means is it's a really good time for us to try new things, explore new people, go out on a date, download Tinder, maybe start 
swiping right, not only left, if you're like me. She's like, nope, 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 nope. It's like, who job? Just go out on a date, chat with someone, you know what I mean? See what happens, explore, because that sextile means good opportunities and Jupiter means expansion and opportunities. So you never know what will happen with that person. Maybe you don't like that person, but they have a friend or they know someone who can support you, etc. Um, the last thing, there is a loose square with Pluto in Capricorn, which means we have a little bit of tension with these old structures, these old addictions or habits or people that are still here, that we're still trying to release, that we're still trying to figure out how to integrate that shadow self, okay? So um, accept yourself, accept where you're at, accept your journey, it is what it is and you just need to chill and be patient because now you're here and that's all that matters because you are going to establish some new intentions after I help clear your energy, right? So let's begin. Let me scroll down here, next part. So um, if you don't have a pen or paper, I ask you now, you can pause on my face and then you can go grab it, you will need it later. If you missed that, you can't, oh, see I did twice. You can't go back and you can't go back and pause bitch. I'm watching you, you can't, okay? You will have another opportunity for that later. Um, I also want to just acknowledge that the majority of the people here, most of them are um, settlers on this land. And it's important to just recognize indigenous people were here long before us. We say thank you for taking care of the land. And um, we have a responsibility for reconciliation moving forward where they are included in the discussions. We're not deciding for them. Also, deaf people are real and they like to be involved also. So add captions to your videos, hire an interpreter if you can for events, etc. cetera. Um, I'm going to use eucalyptus today. Looks like this. Um, I'm using less and less sage because it's just, it's like over farmed, it's appropriated. So anyways, if you use sage, I ask you, please just use one small piece, buy it from an indigenous person and think about why you use it. Um, I'm partnering with a black indigenous trans person um, who is fucking amazing. And we are creating um, smoke bundles. Well, they are, and I'm going to help sell them and get them out to people. So those are gonna use less sage also. I'll let you know when they are available, should be around the summer uh, solstice. So let's begin. I've got my matches here. I'm going to light my candle. Okay, as we open the ceremony, I'm going to use this eucalyptus to invite in high vibrational joy and opportunities, expansion. Okay. Now I invite you to close your eyes as I establish this light grid connecting everyone watching this. It doesn't matter when or where, anytime you are welcome here in this space. We ask that this smoke cleans our eyes so that we can see the truth cleans our ears so we can hear the truth, cleans our mouth so we can speak the truth, and opens our heart to give and receive love willingly. I'm going to use a sound bowl now to help clear your energetic field. And I just want you to imagine there's a green fire burning on the ground in front of you and you have a golden comb and you're just going to comb out Anywhere on your body, just intuitively follow it. Just comb out any negative energy and toss it into that green fire. Okay, so you can just visualize that now and you can listen to the sound bowl. I'm going to help clear the energetic debris attached.
Okay, now I'm going to use distance energy symbols to help clear and balance out your energetic field. So I'm going to start some meditation music and then the meditation is going to start right after that. It's a recording so I can use ASL more clearly for the deaf people. I just invite you now to keep your eyes closed and to imagine white light pouring down onto you and just washing you clean, okay? start this meditation by taking three deep breaths. I'm going to count you in. So inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, Exhale, two, three, four. One last time, really filling the belly, relaxing the jaw and the shoulders. I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And release, two, three, four. Now I want you to imagine that out back in a backyard maybe at a cottage and it's gonna be at night it's dark but it's not too dark you can still see but it's a starry night it's warm it's beautiful you're safe maybe you're surrounded by friends or other people that you can rely on so I want you to look around and see maybe there's just one person Maybe you're alone, that's totally fine because you can always rely on yourself. But I want you to look over to your right or to your left and you're going to see that there's an area where we can build a fire. And beside this area, there's a pile of wood and it's already been chopped and cleaned and it's ready to go. So. What we're going to do is build a fire and with this fire we are going to first and foremost set intention into each piece of wood that we lay fire helps transmute energy it can be used for release but it can also be used to manifest so i want you to place yourself in front of this fire pit this empty space and i want you to grab a piece of wood i want you to grab the first log I want you to just hold it in your hands and just look at it. And I want you to imagine yourself in play. What do you do for fun? What would you like to do more of? To invite joy, excitement, lightheartedness, maybe a new hobby, if you can't find a specific, then I ask you to just invite the feeling, the emotion. It's more important to focus on feelings and emotions and to just let the universe sort out the details. So I want you to hold that piece of wood and I want you to just chant. 
channel the energy of joy and play and fun. Maybe put a smile on your face. Maybe you're laughing. Fill that log with that type of energy and then I want you to place that in the fire pit. And I want you to pick up a second log. And now the second log, I want you to think of what kind of people you want to invite into your life. What kind of people do you want to be surrounded by? How do they make you feel? What do you need in a person? Trust, support, intimacy. Maybe you want to invite in a partner. Maybe you want to invite in a new friend. As we shift, we release old people, so we need to make space for the new ones. I want you to just feel what it feels like to be around the people that you want to be around. You feel supported. You guys have an unconditional love. You laugh. Fill this log with that energy as we set the intention to invite new people into our lives. And I want you to put that log into the fire pit. Now I want you to pick up another piece of wood and I want you to think of who you want to become. Maybe you want to focus more on health, balance. Maybe you want to be more confident, successful, stable. How does that feel? How does it feel knowing you can achieve all of these things? Maybe you see yourself doing new things, trying new things. I want you to charge this piece of wood with those intentions and this invitation. And I want you to place it in the fire pit. We're gonna light this soon we've got two more logs to lay so I want you to pick up one more log and I want you to think of what kind of work you want to invite into your new space this new year this fresh cycle begins what goals do you have for yourself related to work related to abundance financial security and independence How does it feel to get there? To accept it into your life. Maybe there's a promotion, a new business you want to start up. Maybe there's a new collaboration you're aiming for. I want you to feel it, to embody it, to charge that piece of wood with it. And then I want you to lay that wood in the fire pit and I want you to pick up this last piece and I want you to just add maybe something that you haven't thought of yet or something that you want to think of again to give it that little extra boost. I want you to dream just a little bit bigger. Think of something that maybe you once thought was out of reach, but it's not. You can literally achieve whatever you want. So I want you to dream a little bit bigger. And when you're ready, I ask you to place that wood in the fire pit. And beside you on the ground, there's going to be a box of golden matches. Now the Aries energy represents the spark. So I want you to pull out a match. I want you to 
spark it and I want you to toss it into this wood and I want you to see a fire begin to burn. I want you to feel the heat. I want you to feel the excitement. I want you to watch the fire grow larger, stronger. This fire is burning inside of you. You can visit it anytime. And the smoke carries your intentions into the universe. All you need is to be in the mode of receptivity. All you need to be is patient and trusting. And you need to expect it to show up, but you need to release the obsession looking for it, looking for it. It will come. So before we leave, I want you to just place your hands over your belly, your solar plexus, energetic center of our body, and I want you to just take a deep inhale and watch that fire burning as you absorb that energy back into your body. So we can inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And exhale, two, three, four, as we release any doubt. And when you're ready, wiggle your toes and your fingers, and I invite you back into the space. Okay. Welcome back. Now, I just want you to write down on a piece of, sorry, on a piece of paper, um, everything that you saw for yourself. And then you can keep that paper. And over the next couple months, six weeks, six months, you can review it and reflect on it and see how the progress is. So you can pause now again on my face and write your list. You missed it. You can't go back, big stop. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, thank you guys. That's it. Please below in the comments, put down what you're manifesting, what you want, support each other. This is a community. We support each other. It also, you know, like maybe if another person puts down a comment, say, yeah, I see that for you. It's coming, like support them because that's what we want is more energy focusing on that manifestation, right? Also, if you want more support for manifesting this new cycle, I have the Fresh Start program below that comes with a uh, workbook and it is another similar sort of workshop. Um, really helpful, really, really helpful. And this is the new energetic year and the first moon. So this would be a really amazing time for you to do it, okay? I love you. Um, thank you for all of the donations and the support for my work. Thank you for coming. Thank yourself because this will help big changes, I promise. Okay, I love you. I will see you on the gram. Ciao. 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 Ciao.